Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the Postman blog series. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a collection and import and export API collection in Postman. So let's get started. Before we dive into the Postman and start creating a collection, let's first understand what is collection in Postman. A Postman collection is a group of saved HTTP requests that can be organized and shared with other. It is a way to group the related API together and keep them organized within the Postman. We have seen the definition of a collection in a Postman. But the bigger question is why we need to create the collection. So let's understand here why we need to create a Postman collection in Postman. Within a collection, you can organize your request using a form of folder and description. You can use variable to reuse the same request within the different data. You can also share your collection with the other by exporting as a JSON or by publishing into the Postman API network. So if you are creating a collection in the Postman, you can better organize your APIs as well as it is easier way to share your collection to the other team member. I'm hoping that this definition and providing why it is useful, you will get the sense of understanding why you need to create a collection in the Postman. So now let's dive it into the Postman tool and see how we can create the collection and how we can organize our REST APIs into a collection. In the first part, we have tested these set of APIs individually. Now let's organize all these four requests into an API collection. To create the collection in the Postman, first select the collection here. Now click on the create collection, give the name. So for example, I'm giving this name demo project. Now you can either add a new request in this collection by clicking this add a request link or you can save the existing APIs from your history to this collection. So for example, if I wanted to save this API to my demo project collection, click on save. Now select in which collection you want to move. If you want to organize in a subfolder format, so for example, these are the list of employee API, there might be a chance one project has a different set of APIs like employee, customer, card, etc and you if you want to organize your api based on the type like for example the employee api will under the employee folder customer api will under the customer folder you can do that so let's see how we, how we can do that these are the list of employee api so i'm gonna create another folder and then uh, i will save all the employee APIs, employee related API under my employee folder. So when I click save, you can see a structure has been created. So this is the root folder, which is my project folder. And then I have created the employee folder in which I'm going to save all my employee API. So I have saved the get request. Similarly, I will select the another API request that we have tested, which is a post, click save. If you are on a root folder, you can navigate directly. So I'm selecting demo project and then I'm going to select the employee and click on save. Now you can see the another API also get added. Now, if I wanted to save this, which is the put request, just do the same thing. I'm already in the employee folder click on save so this is the last API which is delete click on save how easy is that to save the API and organize in the form of collection right I love this what if if I have to add a new request under this employee folder how can I do that it is very simple you have to select the demo project expand the collection of employee can see there is three dot here click here and click add new request so you can I, I'll show you why it is showing you the name so for example I need to add this request under my employee collection so 
and the type is get so i will leave it as get click on save now when you save you can see it shows you the new request now it is better when you are organizing your api in the form of collection right now you see some of the apis are showing as a url another is showing as a new request name you can also update the name of each and every request so for example this is the api which get all the employees so i will change the name get all employees now this one i can rename it to and the last one we can rename it to employ by so by looking into this collection anyone who look to these api they can easily understand what each of these apis are for in this way you can create a collection and add existing or new apis into the collection so far you have seen how you can create a collection in a postman and how you can add an existing and new api to that collection now the question comes why i am creating collection the first advantage of creating collection is your apis are well organized the second advantage of creating collection let's take an example i have a multiple team members working on a project they also wanted to use this api and test it through their postman tool so if you are not creating a collection you have to share that information either in the email or in the form of document and they have to reconfigure the same apis in their postman tool but the easy way of doing and sharing the apis across the team member is by exporting the collection and reimporting it how can you do that i'm going to show you next importing and exporting the api collection in a postman is very easy to export the api collection select the collection that you wanted to export click on these three dots click on export select in which version you wanted to export 2.1 is a recommended so i will select the 2.1 and click on export button you have to provide the location i'm going to keep it on my default location which is document and you can also give the name so i will keep the name default when i click save once the api is being exported successfully it gives you the message here and now you can see the json file is exported now i have the api collection exported i will show you how you can import that api collection into your postman tool let's remove this so that i can show you how you can import it to import the api collection you have to click on import you have to provide the file that has been exported so this is the file that i have exported select the file and click on import now all the apis that i have that i have exported get imported successfully without any kind of a change i can simply run this api from my collection how easy is that so far in this video i have shown you how you can create the api collection what are the advantage of creating collection in the postman and then how you can import and export the api collection i hope you got the good understanding on api collection in postman in the next video we are going to talk about how to create a teams in the postman how can how to add a team member in a postman teams and share the api via postman team instead of importing and exporting in the json format and then we can also talk about how you can fork the api collection and what is the purpose of forking the api collections so stay tuned with the next video guys i have one request if you like this video please hit the like button 
subscribe to my channel and please 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 provide me your feedback in the comment section thank you and see you in the next video